What if you're an EV enthusiast but you want to tow and haul and have a bed in the back to haul all your cargo? Well, there you have some options in the market, but they are really, really expensive. Where do you go? Well, Ford might have the answer for you in the F-150 Lightning. The F-150 is one of their highest selling cars ever in the history of cars and trucks in North America. So now you have something that goes fully electric. I've been dying to drive this truck for a very, very long time and I'm so glad I finally got my chance. Let's see how this fancy version of the F-150 is. You come to the front end of the F-150 Lightning, you know that this is the Lightning because it has the dominant DRL around the grille. Some might like it, some might not like it, but I really like it because it makes sure to make this truck stand out on the road and you know for sure that this is the Lightning, not the regular F-150 gas-powered versions. What is also different from the regular F-150 is the grill or the lack of a grill if I can say. It's just a plaque in the front for the F-150 because they don't need a grill to, there's nothing to cool. There is no engine behind it. So it's just a plaque with a very, very big Ford logo. You do have some cutouts in the front because you have a tow hook and that's about it. Everything else, they've, the best part I like is that they've tried to make it a very regular F-150 look. They've not gone too far out of the way to differ, differentiate this truck from the regular F-150. It just looks nice and you've got a very nice big bonnet as well. Again, it's just the regular F-150 proportions and it looks really good. As I said, there is no engine in the front. So what does it mean? Some EVs have storage in the front, some don't. But this one has a very, very big one. It beeps, it's very, very slow, but it eventually opens and you have a pretty big space. I mean, I'm sure this can take one suitcase easily. In fact, for your weekend trips, this might be enough. You might not even need the rear cargo bed, which is pretty, pretty cool. You do have lights inside as well. So at night when you want to store something, you have ample lighting. It's one of the coolest features, I'd say, of this EV truck. Come to the side of the F-150 Lightning. Well, it just looks like a regular F-150 and that is no bad thing. This is one of the better looking trucks in the market. The side profile is a very conventional truck and I do feel that the bed of the F-150 is longer than say the GMC Sierra or the Chevy Silverado. It could be just me because I have driven those trucks but I found that this feels a bit more enormous in size, a bit more lengthy when it comes to parking because you know I have the same parking spot so I measure each car based on how they fit. I feel like this is a bit on the longer side. Since this is the Lightning, you do have the road tires and you have this fabulous looking 22 inch wheels which are only on this platinum variant. The Lariat, the lower variants have different wheels and they are only grey. I personally feel they look okay but the ones to go for are these. They look like a million dollars. Honestly, it enhances the look so, so well. It's just perfect and you don't see trucks with these kind of low profile and big wheels but honestly it looks so good and it rides really well because these are road tires so these are meant for driving on highways endlessly provided you have the range you do have side steps as well which are not retractable these are fixed it's okay i mean you know we are in the generation of retractable footsteps and considering the price point of this truck retractable side re footrests would have been perfect but anyhow they are fixed so it's still ingress and egress is very much easy you have a plaque on the side because they have the same plaque on the other side of the fender as well which is the charging port this might look like a charging port as well but this does not open or close or anything it's just fixed and it just says f-150 platinum the variants are mentioned on the side you have lightning badges on the rear as well which is blue to highlight that this is an ev because you know all evs feel the need to have something written in green or blue green because eco-friendly and blue because I don't know, all hybrids and EVs I've seen have some elements of blue in some logos or emblems they have. So this is the lighting and it's a pretty cool font if you ask me. Otherwise, I can't fault much on the side profile because it just has the conventional truck looks yet has amazing tech inside. When you come to the rear of the F-150 Lightning, again, not too many elements to make it look too radical, but I love this little light bar they have in the rear as well, which is very much similar to the front. I really like it and it makes it stand out at night compared to the regular F-150s. Everything else is the standard business affair, which I feel like it's one of the better looking trucks. And it's a very high truck. I mean, I have to stand on higher ground to make myself look level or else I always look really, really short and I'm 5'8", which is average if i can say you do have steps to climb on as well and you have a rear tow bar as well what's also cool is when you open the tailgate it's not the one that just comes slamming down it's a power tailgate which i really really like and it's actually 
the first truck that I've seen. I'm sure there's lots of trucks that have this, but it's the first truck that I have seen personally. You do have a side step as well. So you press this, and you can use this to access the tailgate, and you do have the stand to use to climb into the thing. And then you have the access to the power ports because there are lots of charging ports in this car, proper plug points. You have in the front as well, you have inside the car, and then you have in the tailgate as well. And this is also part of one another cool feature that the F-150 Lightning has, and that's Pro Power Board. Which means if your truck is fully charged and you are in the middle of a thunderstorm or you're somewhere where your house does not have any power source, well, worry not this is where your f-150 lightning will come to your rescue you can plug your house electricity source to the trunk of the truck and it can power your house for three to four days which truck can flex that honestly that's a really cool flex if you ask me and that's one of the major benefits of the f-150 lightning now inside the Ford F-150 Lightning and as you can see it's a great place to be. It's the typical truck attribute so it's very spacious, you sit very very high up and overall the driving position is very very commanding. The seats themselves are really nice, it's all electric both passenger and driver, lots of lumbar support and the seat contour side are very very wide. It's very comfortable for a person like me, I'm on the wider side and I feel really really comfortable in this seat. Otherwise the dash is Lots of regular F-450 elements, so you have the typical Ford steering which is very nice. You've got some gloss black, you've got all the buttons for the blue cruise which is the adaptive cruise, the volume buttons, everything. No heated steering though, which is a big downer. For this price point, I mean, especially now we're hitting really cold temperature, almost sub-zero temperature. So heated steering is a must and this truck doesn't have it or I don't know where it is because I've tried searching through the screen, lots of buttons, but I couldn't find it. So most likely it's not there. You do have a very big screen, which is like the dominant element of this interior. You can control literally everything. The AC temperatures, everything. The Apple CarPlay settings for the car. You can play games on this screen while you're waiting to charge your car, which is really cool. The resolution is top notch. The touch response is really good. And you do have one big knob, which uh, changes use. So right now it's volume, but if I touch the fan speed, you can adjust fan speed. Or if I touch the heated seat, then you can adjust the heated seat as well. So that's pretty cool. It's a dynamic button. It's a dynamic knob, which is very nice. The click is also very nice. Overall, it's very practical. So you have lots of small storage, cup holders, lots of knickknacks, places you can store. So you have a wireless tray here to put your phone you can put some more stuff you have cup holders you have a small space here so you can put maybe your keys this is huge it's a very very big storage and you open it you can put a host of stuff I have a lot of stuff inside it's very very big and since this is the f-150 this has the traditional thing where it becomes a tray as well so you can use this to eat your lunch you can work on your laptop it's amazing it's a really cool feature which is exclusive to the f-150 and I'm glad that Ford put in the lightning as well you have the gear lever which is currently tucked away but if you press a button it pops out and this is a really really cool party trick honestly I've showed it to my, some of my friends and they were blown away with it. Overall, the, there's lots of leather with white stitching. The seats are white as well and they have platinum embedded on them. You have some Alcantara, which is unexpected. You have nice roof lining and Alcantara white stitching. You have some grey wood as well. You have some grey finishing here as well. And you have two, couple, two storages here. So when you press this button, you have the smaller storage and then you have the bigger storage in the bottom. You do have a proper plug point and a 12 volt charger as well. And this is just the beginning. Honestly, there's one here, there's one in the back, there are four in the front and four in the back. That's a lot of plug points for a truck. And that's so cool how Ford has beautifully integrated into the whole truck. You have some pockets in the door so you can put some keys. You have big cup holders in the bottom as well, supporting these as well. It's so cool, it's so practical. And it's actually my first time in an F-150 and I'm glad that it's one of the most expensive models because it feels pretty nice and well built in here. I'm now in the back of the F-150 Lightning. As you can see, I'm the tiniest element in the back here. Everything is so spaced out, so big. 
this driving seat is for my position as you can see <laughs> even if i stretch i might barely be able to touch the seat i have enough sp enough space to tuck my feet in headroom is really not an issue with i can't fault it it's so big i think this is actually a bit more spacious than the general motors trucks but again they both are so big it's never an issue you have a lot of light in because since the general motor trucks do not have panoramic sunroof this has one and it's so beautiful i wish more trucks have a panoramic sunroof it lets lots of light in especially with the combination of the white and the gray interiors it's actually very nice considering that the windows are very dark it's got the privacy glass option so it's very dark but there's still ample light and you don't feel claustrophobic in the back the windows are very big you have amazing cup holders in each door and then you can slide this as well for more cup holders you have the brilliant cutouts on the aluminum on the front and the rear door for the amazing Bang & Olufsen system which is, I can't praise it enough, it's that good. The bass, the treble is so crisp, it's amazing. It's a great entertainment system to use while you're driving this truck. You have some gloss black here and the same Alcantara and the wood finish on the doors. You have a grab handle just like the front. I, it's just a great place to be. You have some more cup holders and you have heated seats buttons for both occupants in the rear. You have a plug point as I said and a USB-A and a C port in the back as well. It's so practical, so spacious. I don't know, I might not mind being driven in this truck. Now behind the wheel of the F-150 Lightning, so let's get the numbers out of the way. This is the dual motor variant with the extended battery range at the option. So it has a 131 kilowatt hour battery with two electric motors. Combined output is 563 horsepower and 1050 newton meters of torque. Sorry, I need to wrap my head around this. 1000 newton meters. The only deterrent is its weight. So this platinum with the extended range option is, wait for it, 3.1 tons. <laughs> this car is just all about huge numbers 3.1 tons 1 1000 nm it's crazy but slotted into drive and well i don't have full battery i have about 40 percent battery but if we go on the screen put it into sport yes that's sport activated and if i floor it Oh, and you are flying. That's 100. That's 100 in acclaimed 4.4 seconds, which let me just put back to normal, which the 100, 0 to 100 is faster than the F-150 Raptor, which is Ford's performance model of the F-150. It's such a sleeper. I mean, if you're on a road with a Raptor, don't mess with a lightning. This will smoke it at least 200 or 120. What a beast. It just drives. I'm on a very patchy surface of road. Honestly, it's not even a road. It's not even tarmac, but it rides so well. And one major reason is because this F-150 has air suspension. The regular F-150 has regular suspension coils, leaf spring in the back. This is air suspension and it rides so beautifully. Even though this is running on 22 inch wheels, it's not supposed to ride like this. It's so, so compliant, so comfortable. Couple that with the seats, you hardly feel any of the bumps. Obviously, it is a body on frame. So it will have some wallowing like now, but it's so easy. It doesn't throw you off, doesn't have motion sickness. And now I'm on perfect, well-paved tarmac and you really can't feel anything at all. You can just keep on driving this EV truck all day, all night. It's so easy. Maybe not all night. And that brings me conveniently to the range. Now, the claimed range with the extended pack is 483 odd kilometers, which is really not bad. But the timing is that I have this truck in extremely cold weather and we all know that winter cold weather is not a co uh, is not an EV's best friend in fact it really really hampers the range and unfortunately this truck suffers a lot due to the cold weather uh, I've done about 200 
10 kilometers and my range shows 105. I'm hoping to get 70, 80 more so I can actually reach the charging station. So you're looking at about 280 to 300 real world. But obviously I have been driving this a lot on uh, highways, which is again, not EV friendly. The more you drive in city, the better it is. But again, I can't blame the truck. I need to have a chance with this in the summer to fully exploit the proper range. But yeah, it rides so well. The steering is very big, so it handles a bit like a truck. Body roll is definitely there, but because this has road tires, it doesn't feel as unsettling as say other trucks in its segment that you would probably go up against. What can I say? I've never driven an F-150. I've always wanted to. This is a welcome change and honestly, I really love driving this truck. In conclusion then, the Ford F-150 Lightning. Well, I love the way that Ford has try to go out of the box and make an EV truck. In fact, I feel like they are the leaders. They have inspired lots of mainstream brands to enter the space because GM is also bringing the Silverado EV next year, which is this truck's only true rival. Currently, this truck is unmatched. If you want an EV truck, there is no other alternative unless you go way too expensive in the Rivians and the Hummer EVs and the those likes, which are firstly unavailable and very expensive. If you want something more accessible and readily available, this is really it. But there is nothing really wrong with this truck when it comes to the main things. The way it looks, it's really nice. It rides really well because of the air suspension, which is already a very, very big benefit compared to the regular F-150. The interiors are nice. It's very comfortable, very spacious. It looks good. The only downer is perhaps the range. Now the claimed range and the real world range, there is a difference, but I have to give the benefit of doubt to this truck of the weather. I have been driving this weather in very, very cold temperatures and we all know cold temperatures are an EV's worst enemy. I would like to try this truck in warmer months to experience the range and experience the full practicality. But otherwise, I really cannot fault this truck. At around $122,000 Canadian for this F-150 Lightning Platinum, which is the top of the line. It's the most expensive version of this truck. It is very expensive, but for something that is ground baking, it's a small price to pay. And definitely one that people would love to snap up if they're a big fan of advancing technology.